Thank you very much. Now, Mr. Bufton. Thank you. Uh, over the last decade, the international community has spent an enormous amount of money in assistance to Kosovo. At a rough estimate, this is about 4.7 billion euros. This includes about 2.3 billion, uh, sorry, 2.3 billion euros from the European Union and member states. Now, one of the key targets for this aid has been to combat organised crime and establish the rule of law. Now, how is that progressing? Uh, the EU Office of Criminal Intelligence has said that, quote, the situation regarding organised crime in Kosovo has not changed considerably since 1999, unquote. A Council of Europe Parliamentary Assembly report in December 2010 leaked senior Kosovo politicians to criminal gangs involved in human organ trafficking. Now, we already have plenty of criminals from Kosovo in London, despite the fact that it's not yet a member of the EU. EU entry would enable yet more to come. We already have enough. Thank you very much. UKIP MEPs will vote against this report. Lunacek. Ms. Lunacek. Madam Lunacek, I'm interested to give a blue card. Uh, colleague, I'm just wondering, I guess if I'm right, you're from the UK Independence Party, right? I'm just wondering, if you talk about independence of your country, why are you against the independence of Kosovo? That's a very good point, madam. If Kosovo ever becomes an in, a member of the European Union, it will, of course, cease to be an independent country in the same way that my country ceased to be an independent country when we became members of the European Union. You cannot have your laws made in the European Union and still be an independent country. I thought this was the whole idea of this place. It's a United States of Europe, and we are being reduced to be regions of that state. Am I missing something, or are you missing something? Thank you very much. We see somebody, but it's not clear. Is Posselt, Mr. Posselt? Yes. Herr Kollege Batten, ich möchte Sie fragen. Mr. Button, I'd like to ask you whether you know that in Strasbourg on the Foreign Affairs Committee, uh, Mr. We, we asked Mr. Marty from the Council of Europe whether he has any evidence at all for the uh, for, for this whole question of the Arkan trade, and he couldn't give any uh, evidence. We have to carry on investigating. That's what's called for in the report, but there's no uh, evidence. Did you know that? I On organ trafficking. Where these allegations are made, I hope that if the evidence is found that the people will be brought to criminal proceedings, and you said yourself the investigations are still going on, the allegations have been made, I quoted the allegations, and I hope very much that they are concluded one way or the other. Thank you very much. Formally, I did a mistake. I didn't ask you whether are you ready to answer. Thank you for your willingness. willingness.